Hot takes I don't think you're ready for it. Let's go. Those who like to blame beef animals for climate change are ironically forgetting that transportation accounts for over 10 times the amount of greenhouse gas emissions. So instead of blaming the grass grazers, how about let's look at the gas guzzlers. There's no such thing as hormone-free beef. If you want an animal that has not received any additional hormone implants, the words you're going to be looking for in a label are non-hormone treated, not hormone-free. There's no such thing as hormone-free beef because guess what? You have hormones. I have hormones. My dogs have hormones. All living creatures have hormones, and yes, that includes plants. So don't let marketing fool you. Speaking of which, implanted beef is completely fine and safe to eat. If you want the numbers, let's talk about it. A three to four ounce serving, the entire thing will average about 1.8 nanograms of hormones or estrogen for non-implanted beef. Implanted beef, only 2.1. So really not that much of a difference. And let's just think about lettuce has over 10 nanograms of estrogen and peanut butter over 300 for only two tablespoons. So your argument doesn't stand. Antibiotic free is just another marketing label. If you want something that has never received kind of antibiotics, the words you're going to be looking for is all natural. If something says antibiotic free, it is just a marketing ploy because every single animal derived product that you put into your mouth that has been inspected by the USDA does not have any residual antibiotics in it. It is tested. It is safely guaranteed.